Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to week one of the FDL. And let's get into it. I'm gonna go through a quick brief of my team and then we will get into the match. In week one, I am playing Stax Rigatoni. His 12 Pokemon that he could bring this week are Iron Bundle, King Gambit, Rotom, Slowking, Tessarina, Staraptor, Mismagius, Morgrem, Metatite, Tinkatuff, Garchomp, and Hippopotas. The direction, uh, there's a couple directions I think he could go. My one that I think he's gonna do some sort of EQ spam with the uh, Rotom Heat, the Star Raptor, and the uh, Miss Magius, just because it's all Levitate Mons or Flying types. Or he could be doing something with the Hippopotas and the Garchomp to get up Sand. Uh, I do think that he could bring Slow King and go Trick Room. However, I do think that is like the less likely option for him. Uh, so if he does bring it, I'm not as well prepared for that, but I am still prepared for it. Uh, so let's go get into my team for this week. My first Pokemon is Espathra. With a set of Lumia Crash, Protect, Energy Ball, and Trick Room. I have max special attack and max HP in it. I have no speed investments in this because I just want to focus on living a little bit longer if he can get off Earthquakes. If it is a Scarp Garchomp, uh, it'll take me... Two speed boosts to outspeed them. But this thing isn't really around to fight the Garchomp if it's in that situation. Next up is Palafin. Uh, he has the moveset Jet Punch, Wave Crash, Ice Punch, and Drain Punch. With the Terra type of Ice and the item Eject Pack. It has a speed boosting nature, 148 speed EVs, just to speed creep a max speed Rotom Heat. A... The Eject Pack is so that if I switch him in turn 1 and he leads Star Raptor, Palafin gets a free switch out and I can just move from there. Next up is Ursaring. With a moveset of Brick Break, Ice Punch, Play Rough, and Facade, it is Max Speed, Choice Scarfed, Guts. Ice Punch can deal damage to the Garchomp, same with Play Rough, Brick Break to take down screens, Terra Normal Facade just to do a ton of damage is the goal with him. Next up is Cerulege. His four moves are Bitter Blade, Shadow Sneak, Brick Break, and Bulk Up. I've chosen to go Weak Armor with a White Herb, uh, hoping I can switch in and take a physical attack, let the White Herb get off and get a speed boost at the same time without having to weaken my defense. Uh, it can pair up well with my next Pokemon to be able to get another Bulk Up as well and get even more boosted. My second to last Pokemon and the first of my two supports is Pachirisu. Max HP, max defense, try to live as much as it possibly can. Helping Hand, Super Fang, Follow Me, and Nuzzle. This thing should be able to take an attack. Uh, Terra Water, Vault Absorb, so if I do end up in a spot where I, I think... Uh, bleh. So, for example, if he does go with like a Scarf Rotom Heat, I can put it next to the Pachirisu, use Follow Me, get the Vault Absorb, heal, and keep my Palafin alive. And my last Pokemon... Sableye. Max HP, max defense, but this one is a special defensive boosting nature just to kind of help balance out its defense a little bit. With its four moves being Will-O-Wisp, Trick, Faint, and Sunny Day. With the item, Iron Ball. I have a strat if he leads any of his Levitate Mon and a Garchomp with the Iron Ball. Uh, the Will-O-Wisp is to boost the Ursa Ring, Sunny Day is to get rid of Sand, and Faint is to break Protects if I'm I don't want to have to attack into a Protect. So if I have Sableye, I'm afraid he's going to Protect. I can hit and do it like that. All right, I will message him, and we will hop right into the match. All right. I am nervous. I am fucking nervous. Did I lose my pen? I got it. <sighs> okay. I'm afraid, like, I keep thinking I forgot something, like, did I forget to set a Terra? Did I forget to set my fucking EVs? Alright, let's go. What's it gonna be? Okay, I kinda got it right. He's doing a bit of both. Uh, King. Slow King. Tisra, Staraptor. Garchomp. And Rotom. Heat. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm going to lead just Palafin, Sableye, Ursaring in the back. If he goes Trick Room, this won't be the best opening for me, but I think I can still recover. I'll have to trick the Scarf off the Ursaring. Then Cerulege, I think. 
No, I think I gotta bring a spa throw so I can try and turn off the trick room if I need to. Yeah, because if he leads... Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm good with this. All right, first battle in the FDL. Let's go. Perfect. We're gonna Spothra. And trick the Star after. He withdraws the Star Raptor. If he brings up the Road of Heat. No. Okay, that's not great. Sword Stance? A revealed trick. I cannot use trick. Substitute. I didn't want to do that. I ran out of time. Ow. Does back come in? That was just because I was being nervous. I just need to oh, breathe. In comes the King Gambit. Do I Terra just so I live the sucker?
I think I Terra just so I live the Sucker Punch. He might... Bring out Earth Ring. Bring in some power. It won't be Guts boosted power though, which is kind of scary, unfortunate. That's still killed? Damn, I didn't think that was gonna kill. I wonder if that's black glasses. I think I might lose this one just because I've let this thing set up too much. Draws. I should have went for the Ice Punch. That's probably what comes out. Yeah. Nope. Star Raptor. Intimidates. That's a good Intimidate for him to get up. That wasn't necessary. <laughs> what wonder if he's picked up that I'm scarfed here. He probably picked up that I'm scarfed. Double into it, so if Brick Break doesn't kill. Withdraws. Play it out, but I've lost. <laughs> I didn't think that second one would kill. Must have been a high roll, I think.
Okay. All I need to do is not blunder turn one. That was terrible first turn by me. Like, quite bad. And I exposed a good amount of my stuff. I wonder if he thinks about going Trick Room now. Almost the same thing. I don't want him clicking Earthquake and just killing the Shrew Ledge, though. Cause he has a pretty safe uh, substitute here. Terra also flying. I Means there's three Pokemon on this field that aren't going to be hit by an earthquake. Let's do the same thing.
If we were to switch here, that'd be good. Play by him. Nope. I thought that would do more. <laughs> that works. They didn't go for the priority. Ah, but he gets the Intimidate. He lives, and I get the speed boost now. Draws the chomp. Back in the King Gambit. Not even a little bit. <laughs> I do get a speed boost. <sighs> Hips don't lie. You're gonna catch an ice punch. I'm doubling into this goddamn thing. I gotta hope that the... Why do I do this? So that even if it does break through... God. I didn't give this thing enough respect. I think that's gonna be my downfall.
And that's the game. And we start the FDL 0 and 1. Alright, so let's talk about that. <laughs> that's a really annoying way to lose, honestly. Because the only way I can describe it is like, that was a winnable matchup. Like, I think my only mistake that I made was I didn't respect the Tissarina, or the hell you say that dumbass thing's name enough. I didn't really have enough Pokemon that were answers to it, and it was able to just take hits a lot better than I thought it would. Like, my original idea was going Terra Ice on the Spothler. That probably could have done a lot of damage to it. Well, this was my first Draft League match. I am just still kind of working the bugs out, trying to learn how to team build effectively for this. Um, there's lots of things I can learn. Like, I just got to remember I have to respect all Pokemon. Um, if I bring Cerulege to game one instead of a Spothra and then switch in the Cerulege, that does a little bit more damage. That can help out a little bit more. Just a couple little plays I could have done differently. I didn't utilize the Ursa Ring at all. Like, I had him, but if I have him, I need to get him burned. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Lessons to be learned. But we move and we learn. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.